Hello world, it's your boy G11 Fit. Never tune with you. Another video. I'm out here enjoying this beautiful weather in the city, man. Something that I didn't get to do all summer. Damn, I know you're like, Jay, where have you been? It's been so long, we damn near gave up on you. Well, guys, I have an explanation. There's a reason for this. First and foremost, I am sorry. Secondly, I appreciate everybody who's gonna watch this video. We might get 100 views, we might get 15 views, but if you're watching this video, if you clicked on this video because you got the notification, you got the post notification turned on, I love you. If you don't, it's all good. You're gonna join a cult sooner than later. Anyways, man, you gotta, you gotta, I gotta tell y'all where I've been at, man. It's only right that y'all get the inside scoop from yours truly, man. I can't just go MIA for months and come back like nothing happened. Hell no. Hell the F no. I'm gonna try not to curse because I heard that YouTube is like family friendly now. And you gotta keep it PG, so I do curse, I'm gonna bleep it out. I'm trying to get some money on here anyways. Anyways, 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 anyways. Where have I been? Jay? You've been MIA, you've been AWOL. What happened? Did you give up on us? What happened? Did you move and did you have some kids and did you just regret your life? What happened to you, Jay? Let's talk about it, man. Beautiful weather out here. Make sure you get your vitamin D, guys. Oh, let me sit down in this grass. So, we're gonna have to go all the way back, guys. We're gonna have to go all the way back, back until about April. This is where it all started around, April. April 2017, this year, right? I'm doing my thing. I'm in school, taking my classes. I'm working, personal training. You know, I'm doing what I love to do, you get what I'm saying? I'm having a good time living my life, you feel me? Everything going up, right? And then, the end of April, I woke up one day. It was just one random day. Mind you, I have my clients early in the morning. I'm an early person, I love waking up early, okay? Some people are night people, I'm an early individual. Early birds get the worm first. I love waking up early, I had an early client, 6.30 a.m. I wake up and I feel a little off. I feel a little funny. I feel a little uneasy. I feel a little weird. You know, we all have our off days, but I'm very, I'm very, uh, mindful of the way my body works, okay? Me and my body have the best relationship in the world. Everybody should have the best relationship with, not God, not um, their parents or anything like that. Best relationship is with yourself first and foremost. Everything is after that. Because you're with yourself 24 seven. You're not with anyone else 24, you're with yourself 24 seven, guys. So you should have the best relationship with yourself. And the point I'm trying to make is, I felt off. And I monitor my, how my body's feeling on a daily basis, you know, because I train, go to school and stuff like that. And the body can experience overload. So I said, okay, I'm gonna push through this day. I fell a little off. The next day, I felt the same way. The next day, I felt the same way. After about a week, things started to get worse. What exactly happened? I charged, eh! Ah! I started to experience headaches. My eyes became heavy. My vision became blurry. Okay? Listen to everything I'm saying. My vision became blurry. I started to lose consciousness. I started to drift in and out of consciousness and awareness. I felt like my cognitive abilities were impaired. This was all crazy. Everything just hit me at once. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I said, hmm, you guys know where I am. I do my research. I stay on top of my game, man. I stay on top of my game. I said, hmm, it might be my training. I'm feeling very fatigued, blurry vision, tired. Maybe some symptoms of overtraining. But I did my research. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna take it light for a week. I'm gonna do some light workouts for a week. I'm gonna take a D-low week. And hopefully I can recover next week, come back stronger than ever. I did that. Nothing changed. I felt the same exact way when I came back. I'm like, what the hell is going on, bro? All right? 
So I said, you know what? Instead of taking a deload week, I'm going to take a week off. No training for a week. You know what? Instead of a week off, I'm going to take two weeks off. No training for two weeks. Maybe I'm experiencing symptoms of overtraining. I need to let my body recover. And you know, if you tell anybody that you're tired and you work out, your person that works out, everybody, especially people who don't work out, they're going to say, take some time off. You're overtraining. I'm working out. Guys, I understand exercise science. Okay? Anyways, I took two weeks off, came back. Nothing changed. I'm like, dude, what the hell is the issue here? What's going on? Man, my skin looks crazy in this um, imagery here. I'm like, what's going on? What is the issue? So I said, you know what? It might be because of school. Because when you're training, your central nervous system is involved and it can become a little fatigued. When you're in school, your central nervous system consists of your brain and your spinal cord. Your brain's working harder, so it can contribute to the fatigue. So I said, you know what, maybe it's because I'm in school. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push through it. May is the last month of classes. So I'm gonna push through it for this last month of May, and then I'm gonna get some more rest and some more sleep so I can recover. I did exactly that. I don't know how I did it because I was feeling terrible, guys. I was feeling like crap. If any of you guys have me on Snapchat, you notice that I started posting less frequently. I usually post on Snapchat pretty often, daily for the most part, okay? I started posting on Snapchat less frequently, maybe like one time a week or something like that. You guys who follow me closely, you would know that. You would know something's wrong too. That's why I started posting on Snapchat less. So school's over. I said, let me get some more sleep. I usually get seven hours of sleep. American um, Sleep Association recommends seven to nine. Varies on individuals. I personally get seven and I feel fantastic. Okay? Hope you guys can hear me. All right, cool. Personally, gets, I usually get seven and I feel fantastic. But um, seven wasn't working out for me. I was feeling like crap. So I said, let me get eight. Didn't make a difference. I said, let me get nine. Didn't make a difference. It got to a point where I would wake up, I would train my clients. I would, get, I would get like nine hours of sleep, train my clients, 6.30, 7, 7.30, 8, come back home and go back to sleep. That's how fatigued I was. I'm like, what the hell is going on, bro? I said, you know what? Let me go to the doctor. I go to the doctor. Damn, my mouth is dry as hell. I go to the doctor. This sun is shining beautifully, man. Let's see if you guys can see that. Oh man, this is beautiful right now. I needed this. Yo listo para el mundo! Anyways, so yeah, I go to the doctor and I'm like, Doc, you gotta help me out, Doc. I'm feeling tired as heck. I usually don't feel like this. What is going on? What is going on? She checks my vitals. She checks my blood pressure. You know, she checks um, my body temperature and all that good stuff. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So she gives me a blood test. She gives me a blood test, you know, because the blood test looks at your metabolic functions. Your blood test looks at your white blood cell count. If your white blood cells, eh, if your white blood cell count is a little on the high end, then guess what? That means that your body is fighting an effect, an infection, some type of bacterial infection, viral infection, whatever the case may be. All right, that's what white blood cells do. She checked my red blood cells, and she noticed that my uh, iron levels were a little low. So she diagnosed me with iron deficiency anemia. No, no, not, not iron deficiency anemia. I gotta be exact here. Verbatim, borderline iron deficiency anemia. That means my iron levels were on the lower range of being normal. Borderline iron deficiency anemia. Now I do have sickle cell trait, but sickle cell trait is just the possibility of you having um, the actual full-blown disease. And that's subject to debate as well, but we're not gonna get into that. I just wanted to point that out there too, that I do have sickle cell trait, and it may have contributed to the way I was feeling, okay? Hmm. So, she diagnosed me with iron deficiency, not iron, I keep saying iron deficiency, she diagnosed me with borderline iron deficiency anemia. And she gave me some, she prescribed me with, with some iron pills, right? These small red pills, she said take them once a day, and I'm also gonna prescribe you with Stool softener. The reason why you need a stool softener is because the iron pills can cause constipation. And a stool softener is going to relieve you of that. 
I'm like, I bet, man, whatever makes me feel good so I can get back to do what I'm doing because I feel lifeless, okay? It's getting worse at this point. It's getting worse. It's becoming miserable, all right? It's becoming very daunting for me. It's becoming very depressing for me. Seriously, this is real stuff, guys. This video is 10 minutes long. I'll make this video. I'm going to just try to go give you guys as much in-depth information as possible, man, because you guys got to know what's going on because you never know. Somebody may be experiencing the same thing I'm experiencing. So you might be able to get some insight and I might be able to help change your life, man, okay? So I got the iron pills. I'm like, okay, I'm a little on anemic end. Let me take these iron pills, see what happens. This is, this is like... This is like May going into June. I'm taking the iron pills. I'm still training my clients. I'm feeling like crap, guys. I don't want to do anything. I don't feel like studying. I don't feel like working out. My workouts were terrible. I went from three workouts a week to two workouts a week. And things were just going downhill. I was still trying to hold on tight and train my clients. I'm taking these iron pills for a month straight. Nothing happens, guys. Nothing happens. So you know what I do? I go to another doctor. The doctor gives me another blood test. They say your iron levels are still low. I'm like, dude, I'm taking these iron pills for months straight. What's going on? They say give it more time. They say give it a few more weeks. I'm like, whatever. I go back to my primary care provider, my doctor, because when I had went to the um, second doctor, it was a different doctor, of course, second doctor. But I went back to my doctor, and she says, you know what? We're gonna try something else. We're gonna try a different tests on you. So she ran tests for my thyroid function, your thyroid regulates your metabolism. Um, if you have like hypothyroidism, then that can be a reason why you're fatigued, reason why you're feeling that way. Check my thyroid function, it was fine. Check my liver, it was fine. Check my kidneys, they were fine. I'm like, dude, what is going on? It got so worse, guys, because I didn't feel better at all. It got so worse to the point where I had to seize training my clients. It's something that I was very, very reluctant to do, but I just had to do it for my own sake, for my own um, feelings of sanity, guys, because I felt like I was going crazy. I couldn't, I couldn't feel like my normal self. Music didn't feel the same to me. My eyesight felt like crap. In the midst of all this, I also went to the, um, the eye doctor. I visited an ophthalmologist. I got like my eyes dilated, all types. They said I had astigmatism. Um, I got some glasses. I was wearing glasses. The glasses did make me feel a little bit better. But I don't need glasses. I really don't need glasses. You see, I don't have glasses on now because I feel much better. You better keep watching this video. I'm gonna tell you how I got better, guys. 12 minutes long, who cares? This video might be 40 minutes long. You better be watching this still. All right? So, I'm like, dude, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? So I continued to research. I continued to research and I continued to research. And then I found out about something called a phenomenon known as sleep apnea. And I brought this up to my doctor. I'm like, hey, doc, I might have sleep apnea. I talked to my aunt about it as well. Guess what? My aunt, she has sleep apnea. My other aunt has sleep apnea. My grandma has sleep apnea. So I'm like, hmm, put two and two together. This may be hereditary. Talked to my doctor about it. She uh, was able to get me a referral to see a sleep specialist. I see the sleep specialist. He was able to get me a sleep study. I got the sleep study last week, October 17th. Okay, this is all recent. And I, I just started feeling better a few days ago. Okay, so you guys know I'm on it. I just, I just wanted to tell you guys as soon as possible. All right? I'm going to tell you guys as soon as possible. And oh, it's also a reason why I didn't feel like telling you guys like where I'm at or how I'm doing in the midst of all of this. It was an ego thing. It was a pride thing. And I have to work on that, guys. If you're in a public eye and you consider yourself a public figure, you definitely want the people to know how you're doing. For the most part, especially if you're going through something, so that they won't get worried. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are worried. A lot of you guys thought I'd die, but I can't die, man. Let me stop. <laughs> but legends don't die. Legends live on forever. And my goal is to become a legend. All right? Anyways. So, yeah, I got the sleep study. Sleep study was terrible. I could barely sleep in there. But he said they got some, uh, some good data. 
Um, I will be getting my diagnosis today to see what the issue is with that, if there's any issue with it. But now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fast forward to the good part, to the good stuff. And here's the good stuff. Here's what here's where things got good. I was speaking to this one girl. I'm not even gonna say her name. I say her name's Mary. Her name's Mary. She's an older lady. She's in her thirties. And I was just letting her know how I felt. I was letting her know how I felt. And she was like, um, you need to try some new iron pills. If you're spirit, if you were um, diagnosed as borderline iron deficient anemia, if that was your diagnosis, then you need to try some new iron pills because the ones that your doctor prescribed you didn't work. I'm like, the ones that my doctor prescribed me didn't work. She's a doctor. How can she be wrong? Sheesh. But I said, you know what? I'm trying anything and everything because I need to get back, man. I need to get back. The people need me, man. You get what I'm saying? This is what I love to do. I got to help the people. You dig? At the same time, I got to help myself as well. So I said, you know what? Let me research on some good iron supplements. And I came across this iron supplement known as... This sounds like a... <laughs> advertisement for it, but I'm not getting endorsed by this anyways. I just started using it literally a few days ago. I came by this iron supplement known as Blood Builder by this company called Mega Foods. Not only does it have iron in it, but it has vitamin C in it, which aids in iron absorption. Not only has iron and vitamin C in it, but it also has vitamin B12 and folic acid. Or folic, I'm not sure which one it has in it one of those compounds which aids in red blood cell formation so it has the whole concoction which helps build your blood that's why it's called blood builder i ordered off amazon right it's pretty expensive too that thing was like 20 bucks for 30 pills that's almost a dollar a pill but i ordered i said you know what let me try it out there's so many good reviews on it this girl said you need to try a new iron supplement and i'm like how do i need to try a new iron supplement if i'm trying or if I was using one prescribed by a doctor, a prescription iron supplement, it didn't work. Anyways, I ordered it, but I was so I was so eager to use it, man. I looked up where can I go buy it today. All right, this was like last week. I went to go bought it. This is right before my sleep study. I went to go bought it. I took one. I felt okay. I felt okay going into my sleep study. Come back from my sleep study, all right? That same night, I hung out with my friends. I got back home. I said, before I go to bed, you know what? Let me take another one. Boom. Took another one. I woke up the next morning feeling like the man. I felt great again, guys. I felt like I had my life back. I felt enthusiastic. I felt energetic. I felt full of life, man. I felt vibrant. And if it was just a really good feeling, man. It was such a good feeling, man. It makes me want to cry because I experienced this daunting, painful, miserable experience. And it's something that I never want to experience again. And all in all, it just might be that I did have borderline iron deficiency anemia. And that was, was, that was what was causing me to feel this way. Now, today, later today, I will be uploading this video today. I believe today is October 23rd. Later today, I am going to get my um, diagnosis from the sleep study. Just to, just to rule out everything. Just to make sure I'm healthy, man. I need to make sure I'm healthy so that I can be functional, so that I can get back to doing what I'm doing. You dig? So, I'm going to be getting that today. But these, um, this blood builder has helped me tremendously. And this is why I'm back. This is why I'm back. Um... I just want to say that I love you guys. I want to say that take care of your health. And if you're feeling like not normal, if you're not feeling like yourself, then you need to make sure you get some help. Do your research, you need to make sure you get some help, get tested, try out everything. And doctors, not all doctors are your best friends, man. Remember, it's the job as well. Because my doctor, she's not gonna watch the video so I can say whatever I want about her. I'm not gonna slander her or anything like that, but my doctor, she tried to give me some um, antidepressants. I'm like, I'm not depressed, I'm just tired. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I'm not depressed, I'm just fatigued. But you know, not everybody understands. But um, what else is there to say, man? 
I'm sitting out here enjoying this beautiful weather. We about to run these videos up again. Oh yeah, my physique, man. This is a fitness channel, my physique. I'm gonna admit, I lost my gains. I wasn't working out. I wasn't eating healthy. And guess what happens when you don't work out and you don't eat healthy? Unless you're like a genetic elite. And you can eat whatever and not work out and still look great. For the majority of the population, guess what? Your physique goes to crap. So that's what happened to my physique. Um, I may give you guys a physique update later today just to let you guys know how my physique looks currently. But um, it's not the way it looked last year. I will admit that. But guess what? When you feel good, you're willing to put the work in to get whatever it is that you want. And guess what, baby? I feel much better than I did all summer, man. It was a bad summer. My birthday was in August. I had a bad birthday, but it was a learning experience for me. It was a learning experience for me to take care of your health and it goes to show you how important health is, even beyond just working out. It's very important, very important. Also another thing, guys, too, I run. I like to run. And when you run, you uh, you destroy white blood, I mean white blood cells, you destroy red blood cells. I forgot the actual term for it, but it is a phenomenon to where running destroys your white blood cells. And me having sickle cell trait may contribute, even though it's considered that sickle cell trait is asymptomatic, it may contribute. That's just my theory, personally. And at the same time, just having the iron deficiency anemia, borderline deficiency anemia, contributed to my fatigue as well. But I'm happy to say that I'm back, guys. I hope you guys watched the whole video. This was one take, all right? So if you didn't like that idea, what idea, you know? Um, this is gonna be unedited. I'm out here enjoying the sunlight. I'm about to go get my sleep study results at 3 p.m. Um, I hope you guys are still making gains. I hope you guys are still making gains. Because I'm trying to get some gains now. It's my turn to get some gains. Damn, man, I lost all my gains, bro. <laughs> I lost all my gains, bro. It's time to make these gains, man. It's time to make these gains. I'm about to start a series called Comeback Season, man. It goes to show you that anybody can fall off. Anybody can fall off. It's a matter of staying consistent. How long is it going to take me to get my gains back? I would probably say about... I want to give it about six weeks. About six weeks, man. I gained like 20 pounds. Majority of it was fat, and I lost some muscle as well. So, um, my body is definitely going to go through a recomposition phase, which means that I'm going to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. I have been working out for the past week. I've done two consecutive workouts this week. I do want to make a video today of Calisthenics beginner workout, so stay tuned for that. It should be up this week as well this video is 22 minutes long 23 minutes long if you stayed watching this video I need you to comment never give up if you stayed to the end of this video I need you to comment never give up if you didn't it's all good man it is what it is because I'm gonna keep grinding I will never give I will never lose I will never give up you talking about, oh, I want to curse so bad, man, but I ain't even going to do it. I ain't even going to do it. Anyways, man, I'm out of this thing. Let's make some games, baby. Comeback season. Comeback season, baby! I'm out. Oh, yeah, don't forget to add me on Instagram, JLivingFit, and add me on Snapchat, J Rockefeller. And also hit me up with any type, of, any type of fitness topics you want me to discuss in the near future because it's run it up season. It's comeback season. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm tired of being unfit now, man. I need to flex. I miss being strong. I lost majority of my strength, man. But the good thing of it all, man, I know exactly what I need to do to get back to these gains, baby. Good training. Good diet. You already know your best piece of fitness equipment is your fork and spoon. A little bit of cardio, and you're good to go, man. You are good to go. I want to leave you guys with this. Never give up. Continue grinding, continue prospering. When things get hard, you wanna remember that's gonna be light at the end of the tunnel as long as you keep pushing. When you give up, that's it, it's over. But if you feel down and out, keep pushing. Keep flipping up new rocks. You might find some gold under the next rock. Keep trying. 
Use these people out here to your advantage. Ask for help, okay? These people have jobs for a reason. These people are here to provide you a service. I don't care who it is, all right? Never be scared to ask anyone for help. Never be scared to inquire about anything you want, any questions you have, any interrogatives, man. Keep pushing. I will never lose. I will never lose. Don't forget to comment. I will never lose. I will never give up. It's your boy Jalen Fist signing out. And I'll be back at y'all with another video. Pretty soon, baby. Rap Simmons on my shoes. I will never lose. I will never lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.